Hi YouTube, just thought I'd do a quick video of my Brazilian Colombian cross rainbow boa. She is having a soak in the bath. The water's shallow. I soak her a lot more regularly than the other snakes just because of her high humidity requirements. So if she's feeling dehydrated, I'm sure she soaks in her water bowl, but this is just for my peace of mind really, then I know she's getting lots of chance to soak up the water. She's a lovely snake. She's getting quite long now. She grows so fast. Sorry about the shoddy camera work. I'm using my iPad, which is massive. I'm trying to hold it with one hand. <laughs> She's very fast swimmer. I lift her out of the water, you can see her iridescent and see how much she's grown from the last video. See that rainbow? That's just amazing. Mind blowing. Beautiful colours. The rainbow bow is one of my favourite, favourite species. The sheen and the iridescence just, just beautiful. Got a lovely pattern. It's hard to see the pattern with all that shine and rainbow. But we'll take her out of the light. She's got a beautiful pattern. Beautiful temperament when she wants, <laughs> but that's what makes her so great because she's unpredictable. She's the first snake to ever bite me. My first ever snake bite was from her. She was tiny. And I didn't feel it at all. I didn't even see where she'd bit me. And I only knew that she'd bit me because I saw it happen. If I hadn't seen it happen, I probably wouldn't have known. But it was actually really scary, <laughs> considering she was tiny and the bite didn't hurt. It was more the strike and the speed that was scary. Sorry about this camera work. <laughs> Trying to make sure she doesn't hurt herself. She's getting so long now. I can't believe how long she's getting. She's an absolutely lovely, lovely girl. Hmm? Are you a lovely girl? Are you? Are you a lovely girl? I can't get to focus.
Amazing creatures. I would suggest Rainbow Boa to most snake lovers, especially if you've got a few, you know, you've had the corn, you've had the ball, and you're wanting something a little bit more intermediate, a little bit more challenging. I would definitely suggest one of these beauties. The trick is the humidity. Once you've got that, everything else is plain sailing, really. There's lots of tricks to keeping the humidity up as well. I mean, I used to uh, cut bits of tea towel and soak them and then put them in the enclosure. Um, and not only did she hide underneath them, but they slowly let out the water. And then you can just re-soak them, put them in. That, alongside extra water bowls, misting. She loves to burrow. She burrows under the substrate and because her substrate is brown, it's eco-earth. It's almost impossible to find her until she moves and gives the game away and then I know where she is. I can scoop her up. She loves to dig, burrow under the substrate and she likes to climb as well. She's got a clean white belly. Don't know if you can see that. Very clean white belly. She's just amazing. She's exactly what you would imagine half Brazilian, half Colombian to look like. She's got all her pattern, but she's brown. <laughs> she's a very special snake. Give you one more look of her in the sun and then we'll say goodbye. So here she is with the sun shining on her. She looks really little when she curls up, but she's got the length, haven't you? Hmm? You got the lamp, hey? Say hello, YouTube. Hello. <laughs> there she is, acting like a ball python. <laughs> Beautiful. Thanks for watching.